So this is my visual mnemonic for DNA polymerase 1, 2, and 3. I didn't really find visual mnemonics for these particular items anywhere else, so I thought I'd make my own to help me study, and it's been pretty useful, so I thought I'd share it. Uh, so DNA polymerase 1, 2, and 3 are represented by flagpoles, uh, and in this case, polymerase 1 is on the left, polymerase 2 is in the center, and polymerase 3 is on the far right. So DNA polymerase 1 is important in degrading RNA primer, and after it degrades the RNA primer, it replaces it with DNA. And this degradation of RNA is represented by this degraded flag on the far left with that little boy and his sandpaper. Uh, and the primer is being peeled off by that sandpaper in particular. Uh, then the replacement with DNA is with that Duracoat paint. So he's going to paint over that degraded primer with Duracoat. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know why the R is missing in that letter up there at the top. But anyways, moving on. DNA polymerase 2 uh, is involved in proofreading and repair. So DNA polymerase 2's proofreading is represented by this scroll that this small squire boy is reading. And that's his proofreading scroll. And then the repair is represented by the hammer. And so moving on to DNA polymerase 3, it's a little bit more complicated, but you can read it at the top there. It says it elongates the leading strand. It adds deoxynucleotide to the 3' end. It elongates the lagging strand until it reaches the primer of the preceding fragment. And it has a clamp factor, which the other two polymerases don't. So the elongation of the leading strand is done by the leading knight and the elongated lumber right behind him. Then the addition of deoxynucleotide to the 3' prime end in particular is represented by the flag with a tree on it, tree for 3, and the fire at the top on the right is the deoxy, so deoxynucleotide addition to the 3' prime end. Then elongation of the, lag of the lagging strand until it reaches the primer of the preceding fragment so that was a little bit hard to make this one, but I decided to use this dog in primary colors with short legs. So he's the, the lagging strand primer, right? So he's a primary colored short leg dog, so he's lagging. Uh, and that elongation is done by DNA polymerase 3. And the clamp factor is something different from the other two polymerases, and that essentially allows DNA polymerase 3 to hold on to DNA uh, for a longer period of time than either of the other two polymerases. Uh, it just it, it, it says there it, presents, it prevents disconnection from DNA, and that's by that clamp factor money clip. So thanks for watching. There's three more videos in this particular section. Uh, please take a look at them. Thank you.